Using your WhatsApp on PC or laptop was limited to just one device and your phone must be online for that device to even work. But with the new WhatsApp multi-device beta, that's an old story now. You can connect up to four devices and they can work independent of each other even when your phone is offline. Isn't that what we all been waiting for? Okay, welcome back. Let's start with the good news. You're no longer going to see this phone not connected one in ever using WhatsApp again. Open WhatsApp, click on the three dot menu and click on linked devices. It used to be called WhatsApp Web before now. Then you will see the multi device beta. To join the beta, click on join and then scroll down and join beta. You can leave at any time you want. So once you've joined the beta program now, we, can, we are going to link a device. But then there are some limitations here you can read up there uh, about the new beta. So once you've joined the beta, you click on the link devices. You will require your password or screen unlock uh, to be able to scan a new device right now. And it's just like the old WhatsApp web, but a lot have changed. Now you can join multi-device. I mean, it was so fun. We actually turned on a web browser in a phone, set it to uh, desktop mode, and we also linked it on another phone. So right now you can decide to keep your main phone and then put up your WhatsApp in a browser on another phone and just link it together. And it was absolute fun. So, you can link up to four devices and they'll work independent of each other. If you watched up to this point, a sub to the channel will be sweet. So why not do it now? It doesn't cost a dime. Thank you. So that's interesting. But before we start adding more devices, uh, because we can add up to four devices, before we start adding more devices and um, linking it up, let us test whether these devices can really, really work stand alone. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to turn off internet access to the phone that has the WhatsApp account. And then let us try whether the one on the PC can actually send message and receive message while the phone internet is off. For me, that's very, very, very critical. And wow, it did. It did. It is working. So you can just log on a WhatsApp on your laptop and can always turn it on to use it. You see that the main phone that has this WhatsApp account is turned off. There is no internet. Just look at that. Now, let me show you that. You see, there is no internet on the phone, but that on the laptop was just working. Let's look at the requirements for linking a new device. Okay, first of all, the phone that I want to link uh, to other device has to have internet access. Of course, that is basic, but the phone you're trying to link from and the device you're linking to must have access to the internet before the linking operation can you know, happen. You can link up to four devices. But before you link a device, it must request a password or screen lock uh, password for a uh, fingerprint, face unlock. Any of them can work, but it's a basic requirement due to security. And that's very, very, very important. So to make sure that someone else doesn't just link your account, uh, your WhatsApp account anywhere, it does require security. And if you have not locked your phone or have a security in your phone please do that because somebody can actually link your whatsapp somewhere and maybe get some information from your phone as you can see we have multiple devices you know connected and they are just working independently of whether the phone is online or offline okay let's look at media sharing between linked devices Linked devices will automatically download media um, from their various browsers once it is connected or linked. So if you are like me that usually turn off automatic download in my phone, um, you have to still come back and 
download it manually in your phone but the media will be downloaded in the browsers uh, before you see now i have to still download the same media from my phone to use it even though it's already downloaded in the browser so that is how it happens on the linked devices finally let's talk security and linked device management you can log out from any linked device straight from your whatsapp in your phone uh, the phone that has the account you can log them out you can see the activity whether they are active last time they were viewed you can also log out from each device even if from your little phone browser you can easily log out from there you can also log out from any other laptop or thing that you have so let me hear from you will you use the whatsapp beta to subscribe i see you.